Ray Cornelius of RayCornelius.com. Uh, welcome to the ATL. Um, basically, you're putting your marriages out there on Front Street and being a part of a reality series. There has been a history of marriages not making it. So was there a conversation with your husband prior to the show that, hey, you know, we're in this for the long haul? think about our marriage not making it because of the reality TV show. I mean, we've been, we have a solid foundation. My husband and I have been together of being married for 12 years, 10 years, newlywed. So um, we're just ourselves. Like, we talk about it on TV. What you see is truly the conversations that we have at home without the cameras being there. So it was like, you know, there's couples out here that can re relate to what we're going through. And if they can see that, hey, they can go through this and they can survive it, so can we. So. Uh, yes, uh, Terry Shropshire, Rolling Out Magazine. And I wanted to know if you could just uh, tell us about each one of your personalities and dispositions so we can get to know you a little bit better so as we continue to watch the show, you know what I'm saying, we can get more familiarized with you. Well, like Cammy said, I've always been a little bit extra, okay? <laughs> um, that's just my personality, though. I've always been that way. Um, I've been, you know, doing acting and different things since I was little, performing, singing, playing piano. So I've always kind of been just a little extra with everything. Um, yeah. But definitely a um, very strong businesswoman. I'm in a um, male dominated industry construction, so that causes me a lot of times to have to be a certain way. I mean, my husband and I have been running our company solely for 10 years now. So um, I've been working mostly around males for a very long time. So very strong personality, very direct. Um, you never have to wonder if I like you or not. You will know because if I like you, I fool with you. And if I don't, I don't. So um, yeah, that's it for me. Next. And I'm Lucisha Scott. Um, I've been a stay-at-home mom for the past five years. I'm now getting into commercial real estate development. Um, I'm more of the get along type of person. Um, I you know I feel like God is my, my rock and whenever we're having issues, I try to like, you know, let's figure out a way we can resolve this and not have to, you know, tear each other down. So yeah, that's me in a nutshell. So I'm Kimmy and <laughs> how you doing? I am um, probably the one with the least amount of filter. <laughs> um, Jesus just didn't make my filter that big. Um, so you kind of get what you see every day. Um, I'm not that kind that will say something to you behind your back that I won't say to you. So if you hear it in the street, I probably said it. <laughs> just come holler at me and we'll talk about it and get it over with. Um, but I was raised by a single parent. Um, and for most of my son's life, he, I was a single parent. So for me, I'm extremely independent. Um, and my mother raised me to believe there's nothing you can't do as an African-American female, period. If you need a ceiling fan change, I change it. If the trash needs to go out, I take the trash out. So it's been an alteration for me being in a relationship where you have a head of the household and you have somebody that you gotta kinda change that a little bit for and kinda be in a relationship you're not in it by yourself. So that's me, um, I'm probably the loud one. But I like to have fun, I like to have play hard, work hard, that's what we do. Carmen Jones from Carmen Jones Knows. This question is for Leticia. We are in a very progressive era right now with the women's movement, Me Too movement, things of that nature, um, much of which has taken place online. Mm -hmm. Have you faced any backlash online due to the dynamic of your relationship? Oh my God, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and that's the thing, like people um, associate like being submissive to being weak. And I'm like, no, I'm not weak. It to me is me being strong because I, I have an MBA in finance. So at the time when I had my first child, my husband and I, we had to sit down and, and have that discussion. You know, you're great at being a mom. I'm great at providing, you know, and I'm a hard worker. So you stay home with the kids. I'll go out here and, you know, take control of the business and take, you know, and do well in that sense. So it's like I'm respecting him as the leader of my house. So, yeah, a lot, a lot. <laughs> All right. Stephanie with My Heart Entertainment. I'm sorry. Leticia, how did you feel when he said that he thought that 
it was a joke that you were trying to get your real estate license. I mean, okay, so you saw, for fun. For fun. Yeah, he said yeah. for fun. So you saw Michelle. I'm, I'm very emotional. So when he said that, like I said, we had a real conversation. These are the conversations we actually had at our home. I'm like, babe, I'm ready to, you know, get back out here in the field, start back doing things. He's like, babe, you know, you're the owner of this company. You don't need to be out there selling real estate, selling homes. We, you're the owner of the company. Play your, that's where that play your role came from. Like, <laughs> you don't see the owner of the basketball team out there playing basketball. You know, he's taking care of the business while his team players out there playing basketball. So I was like, dang, at that moment, I was like, man, why would you say that? Right. But after we discussed it, I was like, okay, I see your point, but I'm still going to go ahead. You still, okay. Yeah. You still want to <laughs> pursue what you want to pursue. Exactly. <laughs> Hi, good afternoon. Hi. I'm Kai Evans here with Total Use Get a Body Wellness Spa. Hello to my soul roars. <laughs> so I have some follow-up questions for you. Don't worry, you have it. Okay. <laughs> Hold me um, down. And that is, the first question I'd like to know is, what do you do for your own etiquette and well-being? So I'm on this track this year to talk about that in women such as yourselves who have these high power, high stress jobs and then you have to balance that with your family. What are you doing to really take care of yourself for you? I appreciate that question. I've actually spoken on that um, numerous times before. We have three children. They're six, six, and two. Um, and so it's, for me, things I love to do, I'm an advocate for massage therapy. Um, I, that's the one time when I feel like my mind and my body all slows down at the same time and I'm able to kind of regroup, right? So I'm a big advocate for massage therapy and also I'm a big advocate for just like getaways sometimes where you, you're able to go without the kids and without your husband and just have time, me time, so to speak, right? To just think, relax, and kind of, um, kind of get your energy back to where you need it to be. So for me, those are things that I love to do and my husband's very supportive of me taking the time when I need very good. Um, by trade, I'm a nurse. Okay. So I have always been extremely proactive in the vein of taking care of yourself. Um, raised by my mother, she was a homemaker as well as far as eating clean, eating healthy, that kind of thing. I cook constantly. Um, and I try to educate people on eating healthy. You know, you go work out, that's part of being healthy. Absolutely. But what you put in your body cost a lot mm -hmm. it cost a lot and so I pride myself extremely pride myself on how I cook and how I keep our house as far as what we put into our bodies I agree with self-respective time as well I think everybody needs their own personal time to get your mind right mm -hmm. because while everybody's taken out of your cup somebody's got to put something back in your cup like to fill you up and keep you whole you can't burn the candle with both ends even being strong women in the work industry you always have to take some time for you I personally focus a great deal on my health and what I eat every day and water and that kind of thing. it's a balance you know you have to balance it out like they both just said and it's so funny we take time out for ourselves um, also we, we eat good I go to the gym Monday through Friday so we work out um, also I spend time with my girls because I need that girlfriend time also so it's just about taking time out for yourself and just putting yourself first in certain areas. So yeah. Very good. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, Janelle with the producer channel. So have you experienced um, the production and not wanting you to go in the direction that you wanted you to go that you wanted yourself to go in and maybe there feel like, oh that's a little boring, what what else you got, this and that. How have you been over able to overcome that because we all know Carlos King, he got his own little agenda. <laughs> well, you know, I feel like going in, we all were just under the impression that we're going to be real and be ourselves. And I think that's one thing that sets our show apart. Like someone mentioned earlier, we're not a casted crew of people here. You know, we are actually real friends. Um, and so I think with that already comes enough <laughs> drama in itself, so to speak. You know, just things that relationships experience, good, bad, it's great highs, some disappointing lows. Um, so it hasn't had to be much of conversation 
in terms of you're not bringing me enough, you right, know? Right. Um, I think we, we automatically just bring it being who we are. Yeah, but at first we thought the show was going to be strictly about real estate and about the combat group and what we plan on doing in the communities within right. um, residential, commercial, and real estate. So um, once they actually started filming up, I was like, man, this relationship, this marriage, right. like everybody can relate to this. Right. So, and it took like a little spin. So, yeah. Right. <laughs> Um, what's her, oh, has your husband said anything that surprised you on camera that you were like, that you had to have a conversation about later? Mm -hmm. No. We know our men. We know our men. There's very few surprises. Yes. Time to keep on editing cheap for Green Warfare Magazine. Hello. So, Kimmy, you're going to put you on Spark Warfare, right? You know, we here. So being in a single mom for so long, how has the transition been through your time when it comes to the household changing and that, that role you just spoke of, you yourself having to adapt to it, now him having to kind of adapt as well? I would assume that anybody that's had to work their way into a blended family understands that there's going to be lumps along the way. And being that he was, he's 20 now, so if we've been dating for seven years, so he's, um, he's gotten accustomed to some of the changes. And they're different because we have different perspectives on raising children. So there's some things that he may do that I don't think is that great of an issue. But Maurice wants to, you know, maybe ground and put, uh, take some car away or something. Um, and so it takes some getting used to. You know, he'll come to me and he'll say, well, Mom, can I talk to you? I don't think he should have done that. I say I understand, but let's talk about it with him, and we'll all come to a meeting of the mind. So that's probably where the biggest issue has been, just in your opinion of how you raise children, especially when you have a difference in opinion and you're trying to blend families. You're trying to blend babies' mamas and babies' daddies and all that kind of stuff and people who don't want you to get their kid and don't punish my child and don't talk to my kid that way. So it's always been a challenge, but Jalen loved one. And in our process of um, growing together, when it was just me and Jalen, I took great effort not to introduce him to a lot of people unless I knew that I was gonna be with that person for the long haul. So he probably met one person prior to that. And when we broke up, and I told him that me and this person broke up, he said, I knew y'all wasn't going <laughs> Because he knows my disposition and my demeanor and how we interact. And Maurice and I get along great and the sons can always relate. Sons, yeah, especially can relate. when it comes to their mothers. When it mothers. comes to their mothers, yes, they can yes, absolutely right. don't always play. relate. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Thank you, dear. I know. Kimmy, yes, babe. Jalisa from Sheen Magazine. I wanted to know what was going through your mind during the scene when you were down in that wine as Melody was trying to explain what respectful cheating is. <laughs> Um, <laughs> you was down in that one. <laughs> well, because see, here's the thing. When they start filming us, um, I'm chatting. And I, I say a lot of things without thinking them through sometimes. And to be honest with cameras there, I really tried to kind of give the benefit of the doubt to the thought process, mm -hmm. the way Jesus planned for it to happen. <laughs> <laughs> so I try not to spit happened. out everything that I'm thinking. I don't personally agree with respectful cheating. Mm -hmm. So for her to um, have an explanation behind it was a little <clears throat> baffling to me. Um, because I don't think that there's a, um, a respectful way to cheat. I think cheating is cheating. And so at that moment, I was really trying not to out-talk her mm -hmm. or um, anybody at the table to kind of like, what the what? <laughs> you know, so I was really just trying to like be quiet, to be honest. Gotcha. And um, you stated that, you know, you guys were saying you didn't have any problems with any statements that your husbands have made on the show. Mm -hmm. Even with the statement in the kitchen about being barefoot, <laughs> that, didn't catch, that, didn't, that didn't catch you off guard. I don't think he, he did. did. He, he said, said he did. Maurice said he did. Maurice <laughs> said we're gonna leave the ladies in the kitchen. And Marso said, but they still got shoes on. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the episode's way out. You guys get to see more of his. You will 
love him. So he's a comedian. He's, 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 okay. He's, he's a comedian. Like, Please, right. whatever. Like, right. Right. Well, did you see me put that plate in his hand and say, go on? Yes. yes. Right. Yes. yes. And then he gave it to you. How did you feel about that? He gave you the plate. Did he take, give it the no, plate to he you? Does, he did pass it. Like, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I was fine when he did it because to me, like I said earlier, you know, all of us having really been friends, we know each other's personalities well. pretty yeah. well. Um, and what you see on the screen with Marceau is Marceau. Yeah. Like, I, he's not in any way putting on. <laughs> not I tell you, he's not in any way trying to lie or cover up. He's no. really being him, what he thinks, how he feels. And so I wasn't surprised when he passed the plate to me. <laughs> <laughs> What's here? Um, hey, guys. Hello. To be honest, I, we've heard that question before, oh, even in terms yeah, of marriage. I don't think reality TV can mess up a friendship or mess up a marriage. I think it all matters on the foundation and what you were when you walked into it. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, for us, I don't, I don't see reality TV messing up our friendship. You know what I mean? But we're like sisters and we're like family. Yeah, so, so that like doesn't us. mean that you don't have <laughs> right, right, right. Right. you don't have conversation. Yeah. And even on the show, part of the show is us trying to um, conflict resolution, right. proper conflict resolution. You know, without tossing tables up and all that. Right. Right. Um, so don't even get it twisted. We have our disagreements. We're not always on the same page all the time. That's not reality. Um, but as far as friends, we'll be friends. Yeah, because even like working together, trying to create this business together, it's like you have six different people. Um, mm -hmm. You know, we each have our own personality, so we have to work together and figure it out. So yeah, we may go a week or two without talking, but like I can just call Mel or call Kim, mm -hmm. and it's like nothing happens. And um, we want to be friends. Yes. We've said before we'd rather not do business if exactly. that's going to affect our friendship. So we would rather be friends than business partners if that's what it is. Question down there. Um, Brandy Dawson with Be Positive Media. How are you guys doing? Me <laughs> too. And one of the biggest things that I'm trying to focus on this year is when we go to um, recap like shows like this, people see how beautiful you are on TV and they automatically assume that things are scripted for television and things of that nature. But can you just give me a quick little recap of when the makeup is not on, when you are down, not being somebody's mama, what is it like to be you during the day? Um, well, Mel is always made up. Right. So, <laughs> right. I don't know if she got one of those right. days. <laughs> I have three kids, so yeah. it's like workout pants, t-shirts, hat on, running around to the store, like everywhere. People, they just right. don't really notice me in the community, more so my husband. Mm -hmm. So, but... We're just regular people, so yeah. And our house is all testosterone. Mm. All little boys, all men, I'm the only lady. However, I love every sport that's out there. So, mm -hmm. yes, she does. I'm, <laughs> I'm jeans and t-shirts. Yeah. I'm jeans and t-shirts. I'd rather sit in front of the TV with my sweatpants on and watch the football. So, you know, that's just kind of my disposition. Are know, we going to see you in your jeans and your t-shirt on the show? Um, do I get a jean and t-shirt? I don't know, but I definitely have work at outfits. I think so. <laughs> I think we do, a, we do a couple jeans and t-shirts. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Okay. Um, now some people are going to be surprised that, you know, Huntsville has actually has a stoplight. So, <laughs> oh, oh, no. No. 